The Belleville Area District Library will please come to order. We will begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, we have a quorum. We, um, our secretary, however, is on the sick list today. It's not feeling well, so Alma is not here. Might I ask our director to call the roll? To have it. Here. Fleming. Here. Ms. Grubbs is absent and excused. Tariga. Here. Peters. Here. Priest. Here. Stoudemire hopefully is coming. Yeah, we hope she will join us. We are expecting she will. Um, the next item, we are on item three, and it is approval of the agenda. You have the agenda before you. So moved. It's been, been moved by Jeriga and supported by Priest that the agenda as presented be approved. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed by saying no. There are no dissenting votes. The agenda is approved. And now we have the minutes from September 12th. Um, two of you were not at that meeting, so the other two will have to help us to go through them and make motions that we accept. So moved. It's moved by Jeriga. So that supported by Chehevitz that the minutes from September 12th be um, be approved. Are there any questions or are there any questions, Dan and Linda, from not being in here? Pretty clear. All righty then. Um, all those in favor, uh, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed by saying no. There are no dissenting votes and the minutes from September 12th are approved. And we are now at item five, which is public comments. And we have the public here represented by Rosemary. Rosemary, you got anything to tell us? No. No, oh, okay. Rosemary will tell us in the paper when we pick it up. <laughs> Tomorrow, 24 hours, she'll have a lot to tell us. Um, then there are no other members of the public. So now we are on item six, which is committee reports. And we haven't had a whole lot of committee meetings. So this will probably go pretty quickly. Um, building, Joy, I don't have, have anything to report. But maybe Mary Jo does. Perhaps Mary Jo does during her director's report. You want to do that? Sure. Yeah. And um, the bylaws committee. No report. The finance committee. Uh, the treasurer is not here, but as I know of, there was no business the finance committee had to share with us today. And Mary Jo and Joy are members of that. So I don't believe there's a report for that. And our marketing committee chair is not here, but I don't believe there's any activity in that committee either. The Harvest Fest is one of our bigger activities, but I don't think our board marketing committee has done anything that our, our staff has done as well. Joy, are you still doing stuff in the Harvest Fest? I'm just getting apples. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a little less than what you used to have. To do. That's a whole lot less. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a great thing when you got a staff that can fill in those gaps. Personnel committee, Linda. No report. Mm, soon you'll have your fun. Right. Policy committee. No report. We worked you in the spring. Dan. Yes, we so, did. Yeah. Now you can go through. And then the art committee, I don't believe there is any report. We, is the Baca 
the art show is coming this, up this weekend. That's right. what I saw. Um, and I have some pieces. Great. And Linda, oh. we and so that's a good report. First time ever. I'm a judge. Ah, I'm a judge. And then maybe a boy. That might be more. <laughs> <Boy. laughs> um, well, uh, she's like, uh -huh. <laughs> after the Baca Art Committee, there usually is some activity yeah. for our art committee because we show things. Even the, it's the, the next art show will be the, the winners of the art, the art show. Right. So I did see her, Michelle, taking people show. around for that. You know, she had a tour, uh -huh. an art tour. Oh, oh, yeah. That was the day after I got back from Disney, and she said, Do you uh, want to go to my tour? And I go, I can hardly walk. <laughs> <laughs> I think Debbie went to that. Yeah. It looked nice. She had quite a couple of people. And uh, she is a wonderful, she does a wonderful job mm -hmm. um, uh, expanding the arts in Belleville. So that takes us really quickly through our whole, which usually it used to take an hour to get mm -hmm. through the committee. So now we have accounts payable. That's everybody's favorite item. You might look at accounts payable. They're in your packet. And it's a very full page this time. I've been looking at those checks. Make a motion that we approve accounts payable. And move. I'll second it. And moved by Chehevitz and supported by Priest that we approve our accounts payable. We have a lot of activity. I did have one question. What is the Fourth Street Electric? It's towards this. Um, oh, is it DT? Yeah, a DT. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, a, yeah, a, yeah, a regular. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. I was reading the line wrong. Oh, I was, uh, yeah. it was GA Business Fourth Street Electric. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Did you lose power when the other day? No, no, the library was okay. We lost power. You said that. Was, I don't know why. Did you, John? Six hours, I think. We had 22 people over the house. We had a whole house generator thing. Oh, so, yeah. We did lose power. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that your yeah. Yeah. So Debbie's birthday? That's right. That was. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. Well, well I'm glad you were. Right yeah, that's what they texted me. Was, uh, we're running out of excuses. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, 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 that's when they say the squirrel goes across right. the transformer. Then they're really hurt. It wasn't even that windy. No. Yeah. No, no, the weather was oh. okay. Well, I, don't, I don't get it. Somebody employed the extension cord. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any more items on the um, Accounts payable that we have to just, just to let you know that because you mentioned the GA business purchaser, they, they changed the name of where we remit the checks. That's Guardian Alarm for the. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Not Georgia. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it is quite a bit to get used to when I'm signing checks. I'm more, and I ask a lot of questions then, so, but I still don't. I mean, we're just a bigger operation now that. So we have a motion on the floor and a second to that motion. And if there is no other are no other questions, I'll call for the vote. All those in favor of approving our accounts payable, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed by saying nay. The um there are no dissenting votes, so we have a unanimous vote on the accounts payable. And that takes care of all our voting. Oh man, are we ever busy tonight? We might, well, who knows? We have things to talk about. And our director, as usual, has a one a full report and maybe some items we want to talk about with her. So, Mary Jo, take it over. Well, uh, I got a question yeah. on your front page. We had a dip in adult voting. Sometimes it just depends on what, what programs were being offered when. So it's kind of early in the year to be to really and summer times. Time. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. So we'll see. But otherwise we're everything else is well. way yeah. up. So that would be pleased about how much of it is. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the city completed work on the Roy Street sewer pipe. Um, this pipe did not exist on any of the city's blueprints. Photographs from the library construction excavation that they did of that site did not show any sanitary means at that site when they, they did their underground work. They took photos at the time. Um, that, that, being, that being said, I, I, you know, I think I share a sense of relief with the city and with the church that this problem has finally been solved. Um, and not the, Royce Street, the, Royce Street, the Royce Street sidewalk has been afforded, so hopefully we can. So the issue is resolved. We spent a lot of time right. talking yeah. about that and talking to the city, the city and the council meeting that the April 12th, so that's good. Yeah, so, so, so I, you know, but also the fact that it wasn't in any of the blueprints, none of our construction people right. could yeah. have figured out what to do about it if they didn't know it was there. And the city, well, I've talked with some of the people, they seem to recognize that that's an issue. Anyway, that happens with the main MCs, that's constant. When uh, they were doing the city main, they were like, hit something, and we didn't know that was there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When they were doing the water mains, okay. um, and then so just because I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it's been taken care of. Yeah, and that it's working and for the working for the for the church. The church's mm -hmm. baptismal stuff is all going to be yeah. The, yeah. the baptismal font and their front bathrooms that they said they don't mm -hmm. often use, but anyway, their their plumbing is working. So it's below wherever they died. So I don't I don't have a lot of information. Okay. For um, so we we still do not have um, the analog phone lines from that storm in August. So um, I am no exploring other, other, okay, so, yeah, other options um, for cellular service. So I've got, um, I think it's T-Mobile offers something, so I'm going to be contacting them. And hopefully if it, if it works as advertised, it'll be something that can take care of all three of those lines for us. I have T-Mobile. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the other option is to deal with each line individually. And um, a couple of years ago, we had a quote from Otis Elevator. It was very expensive to switch that one over. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that this one works. Yeah. Um, uh, Dean from Oneal Construction has installed a, a temporary plexiglass cover over the flagpole light that we're having an issue with. Um, he was going to contact his glass person to see about you know manufacturing a permanent piece of glass to, to weld into place. I suspect that there's more to the issue than that because that light is not working right now. Yeah. Uh, so I talked with Matt Ratzow about that, and I think we're going to we're going to have to look into digging that up and replacing it. They got water yeah. in. They got water in. Yeah, yeah, probably doing. So that's that's where we're at with that. But at least at least now it's, it's it, safe. it doesn't yeah. have duct tape. Yeah. <laughs> so um also there's a the um there's a the, the glass person that Dana's contact is, is um ordering a piece of glass for us for the story time room ahead that had a, is a chip in the glass. Um I talked to Dean about it, he suspects something got like like you know, alarm alarm might have kicked up a stone. Mm -hmm. What happened there? Um so that's it for building stuff. Uh programming, we've got a lot going on. Um, the Detroit jazz musician Phil Hill is going to be performing at our library tomorrow evening. I think it's going to be a great program. So I'm going to see if he's by himself or does he? I believe he's by himself. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. But he's a pianist, right? Yeah. He's a keyboard, keyboard guy. Yeah. Where is he going to be in the fireplace the, room? Um, he's actually going to be in the, the cozy room. Um, yeah. I think the fire you got me spoiled. Go to the fireplace. Jazz. I'll, seems like I'll talk to the person in charge of the program and see what we can do. <laughs> uh, yeah, Harvest Fest, I'm very excited about. Um, after last year, um, a couple of our, my staff members, Karen Dupke, Lindsay Lohr, and Nikki Picker, all put their heads together almost literally the, like two days after the Harvest Fest to, to just kind of do a wrap up and talk about um, just kind of switching things up a little bit now that we've had a couple of years in our new library. And we've basically kind of had the same setup for, for so many years that they wanted to, to make some, some changes to it. So for this year, we've got new craft, new craft activities, harvest-themed yard games, which we'll probably be bringing in indoors depending on the weather, 
um, harvesting children's play area in the children's room. Um, library programs all day, including um, Ann Arbor Scottish Country Dancing, a uh, program from Bees in the D, uh, Fall Story Time with Tanya Dallas. So we have a lot, a lot of exciting programs. Um, Bees in the D is stuff. like in the afternoon. No, no, it's the afternoon. Things. That's so right. Have yeah, you got that, a couple of flyers here. I think it says it's at 2.30 on these flyers. 2.30 is Bees in the D. B is, B is for benefit. Yeah. Uh, Country dancing is 11 a.m. Oh, and Shelly. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Paper plate reads. Grab and go crafts. So if people have to, if they're in a hurry, they can grab a jacket and take it with them. Apple coring. Quilt Guild will be on hand again. So they're going to be making posters. Great. Mm -hmm. There's they're still doing the apple thing. We're doing the apples. Okay. Um, we're we're going to be doing it for the kids this year. I think it's going to work out a little bit easier. So. What about are we doing the uh, bringing the uh, we're, Indian we're, corn? We're retiring Indian corn and corn house dolls for a little while, and giving that a, a break and putting in putting in some other new things. Oh, okay. So. Doesn't mean we can't do them again in the future, but I can nice just kind of rotate yeah, a little it's bit. Been yeah, it's the same since the beginning. Oh, that's a long time. The beginning's a long time. A long time. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> can tell. I was trying to remember when this first, I know, I know it was like, I want to say 99 or 2000, something like that. I was probably have that up. first fly on okay. my stuff. Yeah. I didn't know it was before I lived down here. Do you need, um, and you already have the core things? Did you buy your own or do you? I think that, let me check. I'm okay. pretty sure. I think All they right. do, but let me double check on that. Well, I hope Tanya got her packet because in the in the minutes oh. it says her comment last uh, <laughs> month was that like she was looking flyers, forward yeah. to all the program they have yeah. flyers and they're all so good. We got so much good stuff. Mm -hmm. Are they doing? Is that a pumpkin bowling? I, you'll have to come and find out. It's not real. All I know is it's not real stained glass. They may be put stained glass in quotation marks. Oh, right. so, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Thursdays, Thursdays are classic movie series. So uh, a foreign affair by Lady Dietrich. So uh, it's going to be good. And the weather will be per perfect evening probably for staying inside. So come come watch the movie. Right. It's just so interesting. He's very really good. Um, I have a question. I think you told me, well, it says here with uh, Jessamy coming back, we're going to do more stuff on the website. But I went to the website to try and look for all these wonderful flyers, and there, I couldn't find them. Well, we have a slider on the top that goes to scrolls. If you're just looking on your phone, you might not be able to see it. There's a, um, there's a slider on the regular website. And then we post those on there. And so page. all these things really are yep. on there. They're so good. They need to be on there. Well, I'll have to. I started to call you for technical assistance. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, though, let me back into that part of my report. Um, uh, this has been on my bucket list for a long time, um, is to update our website. And it's we've never had it professionally done before. And there are things that the professional firm can do that we that are beyond our, our capabilities. So um, I really want um, to have a group of staff members really work on looking at multiple firms and find, finding one that's going to be the best fit for us and the you know, best value. Uh, so I'm hoping um, now that Jessamy is coming back, she's um, kind of been on a long leave of absence. Um, her, her daughter is finally in kindergarten, so she's able oh, to bring, us, to bring us a little bit more help. Um, so we're really happy to have her back. So. She's going to assist with that, um, and then um, Jennifer Richardson, who um, so I talked about last month, she's going to be assisting. Um, kind of folded into the website um, is the event camp. We have an event automated online event calendar and room booking software that we use here. Uh, the company that provides that demo is is pulling the plug on that service as of next. I think it's next August or next July. I can't remember. 
Mm -hmm. So we need to find something yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. Use what do you use? Unicode. Yeah. 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 Okay. I might be talking to you about my yeah, so much. I can't remember what we used before, but it was a nightmare. There are some, there is at least one web web design company that also does you know the room booking software. We'll probably be looking at them just to see if that's you know something that would work for us or not. Otherwise we'll be probably hiring, you know, hiring two different companies. So um, so anyway, there's a lot, a lot of um, research that's going to have to happen in the next couple of months. Um, when is Jessamy coming back? Well, she's back now. She's mm -hmm. doing a lot. I mean, a lot of what she can do, um, she can also work from home on things. So she's doing that. And she's in our building, you know, some, some of our mornings. Um, we have had, um, this past month has been a, a really tough month for us. We've had a lot of um, illnesses going around. Um, we've had about, six, I think I've reported five different cases of COVID in my director's report. It's now six. <laughs> so, wow. That's a lot. The vast majority, I think, are are people bringing it from other walks of life. Yeah, that that our, our, our yeah. too. Pretty mild. So. Okay. Nobody's had yeah. a real, has no. anybody had a really bad one? Everyone's tight. No, no. I mean, it's relatively speaking, everybody's really gets knocked out by it. And, right. but there have been a lot, a lot of reports of fatigue. So yeah, just yeah. a couple of weeks That's after that, people are yeah. tired. So. Mm -hmm. um, I've noticed um, <clears throat> the majority of these cases are people that have never or at least not knowingly had COVID before. Oh, mm -hmm. so this is kind of, kind of, you know, I don't know if they get it, but it's kind of, kind of interesting. So anyway, we've been struggling to fill the whole Holes in the in the desk schedules and try to make sure that we have coverage. So, um, we are in addition to Jessamy, we're welcoming um, Eddie Kendrick as a new shelver, and then a new facilities clerk, Haley C. P. Um, Haley's going to be doing a variety of projects for us. She's going to serve as backup for shelving, but she's also going to help with some of the room technology and hopefully be available in the evenings when we have people coming in to, to host meetings in order to help help them with their technology in the room uh, to kind of give Jason a little bit of extra assistance too and moving yeah. furniture around and set up and tear down um, and just a just a variety of, 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 of um, back of the house circ related type jobs. And the articles I gave you, it's been a while since I actually oh yeah, I read them. I got a question. Yeah. It's Diamond and Shoe yeah. thing. I was wanting you and um, Joy to I mean the first paragraph in here about Paramount about the I guess it's like a worry of people taking over too far, mm -hmm. but yeah. Um well, you know, I keep feeding you articles about about um, e content and some of the the hurdles that libraries face with with trying to acquire um, services and some of the expenses. Um, the other thing that um, we see frequently are publishers who merge, and um, sometimes they can't can't merge if they're violating you know monopoly laws. But um, this is a this is an example though of a publisher um, joining forces with a um, overdrive, which is our e contact platform. And that like this KKR mm -hmm. that they own overdrive. Yeah. That's the one I couldn't. Yeah, they own overdrive right now and that and they're, they're they want to acquire um, the publisher company. So and overdrive sure. does what? Uh e -book. are ebooks, e books, e audio books, e scoop law. Do I? No, I so, don't use it. That's the yeah, and I looked like at a real book in my hand. Yeah, but it's good if you're traveling. Yes, it is. Overdrive, overdrive is the app is Libby. Uh -huh. Could you use uh -huh. it that way? I keep saying I'm going to move up to well, and then my I had a my uh, tablet had a sad moment, so I have to update a lot of things. Oh. 
And then Mary Jo has to show me how to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> then it gets too old, you can't update it anymore. I had to just yeah, I think my tablet day. is too. It's so I, I can go back sort of and start all over. Yeah, they made an obsolescence. Yeah. So, yeah. so anyway, it'll be interesting to see how everything plays out. Um, actually, I'm glad you brought up Hoopla. We, we, um, it's breaking our budget. Basically. Oh, really? Because <laughs> you are using it so much. <laughs> really. So we, we are, uh, I think the beginning of November, we're, we're limiting people to five, five checkouts per month. Do they have six. a limit now? Six. 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 Bring, that, bring that down just a little bit. Um, so it is really popular. It's a premier service. It's very popular because it's... It's, it's in movies. If, and if I want to check out... Um, let's just call, let's just say we won't both want to listen to an audiobook. If I want to listen to the audiobook of Green Eggs, I'm going to just pick on Green Eggs and Ham. Green Eggs and Ham, and you want to listen to Green Eggs and Ham, we can both check out that title at the same time using our library. That's great for mm -hmm. multiple, multiple checkouts, you know, mm -hmm. you know, simultaneous use mm -hmm. of that of that title. So it's a very good. Good service, producer service, like yeah. too, because the whole class. Oh, class. Yeah. A lot of yeah. a lot of libraries have so, yes. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about my book club, but mm -hmm. but it. each checkout, each checkout, we we pay by the checkout. So each checkout costs, and if it's a oh. brand new bestseller, those checkouts are going to cost a little bit more than. Readings in the end was probably well, that must sense, be but, something yeah. to think about in next year's budget. So, mm -hmm. so anyway, um, mm -hmm. so we're just kind of weighing in the, the, the cert versus the cost and things like that. Well, it's um, all these new, uh, I mean, like all this stuff wasn't there. Well, and COVID made it, the pandemic COVID made it, 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 yeah. it just went shit. Uh -huh. um, once you get on it, you're hooked. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's so easy to yeah. get a book. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, now overdrive. There's TV. There's TV on there, isn't there? There's movies, too. There's some movies. I'm watching French. Okay. Yeah, yeah I think some shows. Yeah. 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 The majority of our patrons use it. Um, I have to go look at the stats again, but the audio books and the, the e-books. Um, yeah. You know, overdrive is a little bit of a different model. It, it actually kind of works as a traditional library. So if I, I want to check out a copy of Green Eggs and Ham and I beat you to it, you have to wait. If you're on the waiting list. Unless there's multiple copies. There's, yeah. But the other difference is that it's selected by librarians, the content is, and Hoopla is just, just provided yeah. whatever they give you, they give you. Yeah. Well, um, where the librarian so librarians will tend to choose uh bestsellers, current bestsellers when they can instead of Hoopla, it's, the whole, it's the whole consortium, so it's you know we yeah. kind of you know, pulled all of our money together, and it's not yeah. even it's like six consortiums. It's the mm -hmm. state of Michigan. It's all yeah. of the yeah. consortiums. I, I don't know if it's all that I, that I wanted though that I hadn't been able to get through that. They're willing to wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. It, 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 it's like they have everything. So they recently that like I'm not that. Recently. So you've been Maybe. using slow. Oh, yeah. Are you talking oh, about? Oh, see, didn't I tell you you were the youngster in here? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I use them both. Yeah, I use them geez. both. If Me I can't too. get one, really? if I can't get it through one website, you know, I try the other. The other Sometimes I'll even go, you know, the Belleville's website to try to get it through Belleville. But but I try, I try all three of them. And, and yeah. I don't you're know who said it. You're I think one of our power that, users. <laughs> I think I think when when Linda said that was very true. Once you once you start on it, it is it's a big really. It, 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 it's hard. It's like I'm I, I, any free moment I have. I'm listening to a book. Me too. I don't care if I'm in the car. I don't care if I'm in the yard. I don't care if I'm taking a walk. Yep. I'm listening to a book. Yep. And it makes uh, all those chores a go oh, a lot better. Faster. I almost look forward to some of them. Yeah. I can like, go outside <laughs> so I can finish this book. Yeah. <laughs> then I just sit. Yeah. It's a flower bed. Like, oh, I'm weeding. Do you use headphones? Yes. Yeah. yes. You can use Bluetooth. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Or my husband who has hearing aids, his Bluetooth hearing aids. That's yeah. what he uses for the wow. book. Really? Yeah. That's what I, I was yeah. reading on it. So he doesn't I'm have to move thing. up into the 21st century. <laughs> well, there are people who love. 
I love it. And I, I do think that when people have read please. a hard copy book, you're 100% into the book. When you're listening, yeah, I, you know, there's distractions. Yeah, you yeah, have, have to deal with that. It, you know, yeah, but you need to do things with your hands. Yes. Yeah. 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 Very true. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a uh, garden or wash the dishes or vacuum the floor, whatever it is. Hmm. Yeah. Good kind of discussion. This other article you gave us is like one of my favorites all the time about oh, how libraries are not for just books, they're for people. And that with people, that's really interesting. The idea that without workspaces, with so many people being um working with distance working and working from home, there's not a place where people congregate. So go to the library. And I thought it was interesting about the Library of Congress. I didn't think of it because I've been there and it's just stunning mm -hmm. that it's a it's a local library for library for some people. Mm -hmm. And so they have that ball, you know, the, literary ball. Yeah. The, but I, I it's mm -hmm. so overwhelming when you go in there. It's hard to believe it's someone's yeah, community somebody library. Like could come in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, we're the um about the third place. Yeah, yeah the third place, where, place where time, people time. people can can okay. come together from all walks of life, and it's not you're not being and you don't have to pay to pay to be there. Yeah, you know, you just like going to the shopping mall or the the you know the a restaurant where you you know they expect you to to pay some money. Um, in my building. A lot, a lot of um, people. You know, sometimes I mean, we might be the only people they see all day. You know, the only ones who are, you know, say hello to them. Yeah, during the day. So. Mm -hmm. What were you going to say, Joy? Oh, I my building being closed so long. There's been, you know, a huge uproar because the homeless folks who can use the library, come in and out, go to the bathroom, get water, whatever, uh, don't have a place, have to, go. place to go. And so? We had a major, major disaster flooding from the roof. Oh, they got um, a How July long? July 1st, and it's the what? I mean, it, it's gutted. The oh, inside's my. gutted. Do they have any estimate of when they're going to open it again? Um, well, an architect's working on the first things. They're getting estimates to go to the insurance company, and then so well, no, but they're saying time. not before, but somewhere between March and May. The director's just like it has to be open by summer, and I would never ever have dreamed it should be a whole that year. It would be like this, yeah. Well, it's a books. We lost hardly any books, only okay. 80 books, because <laughs> they weren't on the walls on the outside. They were the inside of the perimeter walls and the carpet, the flooring, not way beyond the carpeting, several layers of flooring, because it's an old building and there was glue on board and more glue on board and hardwood. <laughs> no asbestos, oh, lead paint, but no asbestos. Oh, was it due to the storm that came through? No, 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 this was, was one very short storm when I believe the storm drains were blocked because they were doing all this water main work on our corner. You know, and, it's it's really a holding made, downtown Ipsy without the library. You know, the library is really an important. Yeah, I hate they, to think of it. It's you know, affected all the businesses, years. and it's it's really sad. Yeah. yeah. That's true too. Yeah, it was a, it was it was a hangout for a lot of people, families, and yeah. they were walkable for great. And we're near the transit center. We won't be able to do our ARP service there this year, which is a huge thing. Tax aid service we get we do you know like three hundred people, and so yeah. Can't think about it right now. Don't yeah. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, libraries are, are very important. Yes. And they're places for everybody. Yeah. That's I think all I have. 
Well, you got the bulk of our meeting tonight. And that was very good. So now it's time for the trustees around the table to talk. Trustee talk. John, you look like what do you want to say, John? I just John? want to add, uh, have um, Mary Jo on the stage again. The, it's the time to be harvesting honey. What's the story? Can we talk about that? Uh, there should be honey available for sale at Harvest Fest from the Friends of the Library. So it's going to be like last year, it's going to be $10 a jar and limit three per, per person. So they're they, they, said, they go fast, right? They go really fast. Yeah, they do. Yeah. You share it, say one. Oh, you should just get one per person. <laughs> well, this is they, they met on Saturday and they decided to. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, no, they're that's something for all the friends. There. I have to pick up garbage on the side of the road on the first part of the morning. It must be a board out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they were yes. here for the fire, whatever. Now, okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Um, Dan. Um. Well, it's nice to be back in town. I've been away for a little while. Um. There's a lot going on at the library, as Mary Jo just said. So it looks like it's going to be a very busy fall and probably even into the winter. So um, I'm kind of looking forward to some of the activities here and. Like you said, as summer slows down, I don't know. I don't know how it is for the rest of people, but for me, yeah. um, I'm very busy in the summer. But as as fall and winter come, it slows down. You're a nester. It <laughs> slows down a little bit for me. So. And spend more time in the library. Yeah, more time, more time around town. I like that. Joy, joyous. I am going to say how relieved I am to take a very small part in Harvest Fest. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of very the young of your back. Uh, come up with great ideas. Um, you were the original person starting it, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Joy and Rick have been doing Harvest Fest. I, I actually want, want to give disappear. Joy and Rick is not here a stand in my Every year. I mean, she and she would just knock it out of the park and bring all the crafts, all the. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I got tired. Yeah. And I know I got to, I was starting. I wasn't doing as a. Uh, a creative job and so I'm really glad to fresh fresh energy coming to this project and not just like so many things that whoever's had their hand on it when they're gone the foot disappears I'm glad this continues mm -hmm. so well that was a very big contribution for a board member to me uh, I wasn't even a board member back then. I think yeah. I was just, I might have been a friend's volunteer. I think I was working here. I don't you, know. you worked here? Yeah, my, uh, yeah I worked was here for, for I was three years. years. Uh, um, I also just want to, you know, thoughts of folks in Israel and Palestine. Oh, yeah. and oh, it's terrible. Who are um suffering it's awful or it's awful and those individuals and families in the middle of it anyway on Linda um hi too was gone for the last meeting and but I did get good feedback from League of Women Voters. They had their annual meeting here. Yes, I did. And I was very pleased. So I was happy about that. And I'm very anxious to go to the movie thing on Thursday. And I also love this checkout for um, items, cookware, and I love the knife shirt. <laughs> and the dinosaur cake pan. I'm the very excited about that. Yeah. Because there's some things I don't want to invest in. 
Yard yeah, games yeah. are so popular. Do, have you guys got any of those at our building? That's on our list. Like those big, big uh, connect fours and uh, Jenga and the bean shake yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, they just are like in and out, in and out. They're never, they're never in. They have holes all the yeah. time. Right. Yeah. I, I would never have dreamed that that would have, and even the board games. I, yeah. I would not have dreamed that that would have been the focus and win the thing. So yeah, those are those are on our list yeah. of acquire as well. It's gonna take a while to start. So you're gonna do board games on too? Probably, yeah. So, I think we have one staff was working on uh, um, hopefully developing a seed a seed library. So okay. that's another possibility. Yeah, so, we've got, we've got a lot of good ideas. Yeah. How many irons in the fire? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> no, we can. I can get gardening tools too. Yeah. <laughs> just have to have a place to put up this stuff. Yeah, that seems a brand new big library. <laughs> yeah. but, but with limited storage, which yeah. we know from the beginning, yeah. we right. don't have as much storage as we might have wanted. But um, you? Okay, I have a couple of things. Um. I I was, I guess I have to ask Mary Jo about it. The Friends had their meeting Saturday mm -hmm. and I was out of town, but I'm, I got wonderful feedback about it. And because several of our public officials had come in town for the fire Truck or the pancake breakfast. I think it was a pancake yeah, breakfast. Well, something early the, the fire, fire truck. truck. Yeah, the, the fire, fire truck. truck. Yeah, for the, that activity, they came over to the library and stopped in. And I wondered if, since I, you were there, Mary Jo, mm -hmm. could you tell us anything about the Friends the meeting? The Friends had a... Uh, Meaning they, they made a point of just inviting anybody who was interested to come. We have cider and donuts with them. So they had their uh, regular meeting and we did have some guests in the audience. We did have a couple of people who were at the at the fire truck fundraiser who came, were able to come come visit us at the towards the end of the meeting. Uh -huh. So and they were ha happy to see us. So um um Debbie Dingle. Deb Debbie Dingle was yeah, there. Our congresswoman came. Yeah. That was good. Uh, Kevin McNamara, mm -hmm. uh, George Lisa Martin, and and Ke Kevin Martin are good. were there, so, so they stopped down. So, um, so everybody got to mingle after that. Right. So it was a nice, nice event. Speaking of our public officials, both Linda and I and Alma attended the um, State of the Community event last Thursday. Which was they they've added more presentations. It used to just be Sumter, Van Buren, and Belleville, and then they added in the um, superintendent of schools. And now they've also added in our elected officials. So our state rep, our uh, state senator, and our congresswoman. And because the House of Representatives in Washington is not meeting. Debbie Dingle was able to be at that herself. Um, ordinarily, it would have been a representative for her, but she was there, and it was it was very interesting. It did go longer than I, I mean, because there's so many more presentations. But the presentations were interesting in the dynamics and the interrelationship between our communities was interesting to participate and a, a lot of you know in the presentations a lot of things going on in these communities that i didn't know um rosemary was there and i'm sure we'll all read about it in the paper i was i was i delivered my paper oh yeah oh and you didn't you take a picture i thought i saw you in there taking yeah. pictures you know elena took pictures oh so okay. i uh, do have a picture uh -huh. But no, that's my delivery. <laughs> that's all you can do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it was uh, it was a lot of people. It was well attended, yeah. and the, and the library was well attended, and because John couldn't go, Linda brought Randy, and Randy is a magnet for the public officials in Belleville. <laughs> 
So the library table became the Belleville table, and, the and there wasn't room for the library board chair. <laughs> But I found a good sit. place to you don't sit. Don't tell the mayor. No, you can't sit here. And, well, the new the <laughs> mayor, the new mayor in my spot that Elmo was trying to hold for me. The new mayor. The mayor brought the new city manager. City manager, which I would have enjoyed Just getting to know. Sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's Randy. Randy is yes. a grand, and I think that's going to be good for the library. That yeah, he's, and, he's running and for Lin council. Yes. Linda and Randy were informed that they are a new power couple. News to me. Well, anyway, it was a great day. Yeah, it was that was good. Catered by um, Gloria Jean. Gloria Jean. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. That was well. So, and there's been a lot of activity. Uh, the library board, went, uh, several of us went to the check, the uh, Denton Road oh, um, check, presentation. check presentation, which it is a good thing that the money is there for the Denton Road Bridge and, and apparently the scheduling to have it done, you know, but it's like your building, you know, it's takes a long time. And the Iron Girl Belt Trail, there was some money in there for that too. Right. And the then they oh. and then they had another activity just yesterday about yeah. the Iron Bell Trail. So there's yeah. a lot of community, a lot of community activities going on. And I'm pleased with that we as a library board are taking an active role in all these things. It's a good group of people. And other than that, oh and then I'm really excited. I'm 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 Echoing what uh, Tanya said, uh, said last year, I'm really excited about our programs. It was fun looking at our packet, all this mm -hmm. stuff. So I'll be back tomorrow. I have, mm -hmm. I'm not familiar with this jazz uh, performer, but I love jazz piano. So I'm looking He's forward. He's a big name. Is he? You've heard him before? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. My husband wasn't. I've heard him he? as part of a trio. That, yeah, I don't think it was. Hmm. Well, yeah, we Come will on. find yeah. out. And then the movies next night. People can have free dates <laughs> here at the library. Yep. <laughs> well, I don't have anything else to say, and we're less than an hour. Madam John! Madam Chair, I make a motion that this meeting be adjourned. I will second that. It's moved and seconded that the meeting be adjourned. Wait, all